Hello, everyone. This is our next episode of the Roatan Real Estate Roundup, sponsored by Remax. Uh, today, our, our guest is Merrick Venura uh, with Remax. This is the second installment of a four-part series we're doing with Mr. Marek, talking about building um, your own dream home, considerations, and things of that nature versus buying it. So, Marek, hello. How are you, sir? Hey, Russ. How are you doing? How are you, everyone? Hey, it's great. It's a good day. It's a beautiful day. All right. So today's topic we're going to talk about are five things to consider when choosing your builder. Um, my humble opinion, outside of choosing your lot, this is probably the most uh, the most important part of the build process. So uh, let's jump right into it. Number one, as you and I spoke, was experience and reputation, right? Yeah, right. So you, you're completely right. I mean, once you pick the right spot and then, and then your dream lot, then the, the hardest part and that's going to affect everything what go, coming next is to choosing the right builder. So you guys out there need to be very careful. Again, we are here to help you. We are here to connect to you with the different builders. We know them. We know we, we have experience with the different builders. We can show you what they have already built. We can even take you to some of the houses so you can walk around. We can connect you with the designers, with the, with the architects and everything. You know, it's very important that you choose the right one because not necessarily every builder is good with wood and a concrete you know if you want to mix so it's very important what is your plan and then to pick the right builder and so your building process because it can be up to one year maybe even longer it's as smooth as possible yeah that makes perfect sense you know and i think that's one thing to talk about you know you see a lot of chat rooms out there and people have questions do you trust your builder um I had a problem with my builder. I had this, and there's not all builder, not all good builders are bad, and not all bad builders are good. And Correct. I think that's one thing to really take the due diligence and find somebody that fits your style. Not necessarily the best builder, but somebody you can communicate with and really work with as a partner is important. Yeah, sometimes it's hard, Russ, because you know you might have a builders that are very good from the beginning, you know, uh, initiating the work, and then and then the gray. Gray work comes really fast up, and then you're amazed uh, how fast everything is going. Your house is looking great, and everything. And then it comes to the finishes, and then oops, and then you start seeing details and things that you don't like. And then on the other side, you know, some builders are really bad initiating the process, and they're very great with with finishes. So it's it's very tricky, and that's why go out there, guys, connect with us, so we can show you what each builder can do, and and then it's up to you to to choose from. Right. You know, and that dovetails really well, Marek, to what you said and to our second point, which is portfolio and style. Uh, you, you referenced some builders are very good with wood. Some are very good with concrete. Some are very good mixed. And I think that's where a good conversation between you and potential builders really opens up a successful process. Would you agree? Yeah, yeah, I agree 100 percent. It's very important, you know, while choosing the builder, don't just go and look at it. Meet with the builder, have a conversation, it's not even once. OK, invite them for it. You know, how much is going to cost you? Pretty much nothing, you know, but it's it's a very small cost. But it's very important to get as many information in person from the builder. You know, you you already know what you want. So you can ask him this, sometimes these tricky question, questions and see how he reacts, you know, because from the reaction from the builder, asking him on the specific questions, on the detailing and then things that you would like to have in your home, you will see from his reaction if he is actually the right builder for you or not. Yeah, makes good sense. All right, let's go back. I, I jumped ahead one bullet point, but let's go back. The other second one is licensing and insurance. Um, some builders carry it, some builders don't. Um, it's important, I think, to make sure that they have an idea of their license and insurance that they have, correct? Yeah, 100%. And it's, uh, you'll be surprised for us, this is very delicate and, and, and a hard topic because, I mean, licensing, it's not so hard to get a license uh, as a builder here, yeah, right? Comparing to European process, US process, or Canada. All right, so here, anyone can show you the license and is and it feels like he's a builder, all right? That's why we're coming to the first point ask for the experience, ask for the reputation, because there is so many newbies around here. They feel like, oh, hey, I have a skill saw and I have a ruler and I can go and build a house, you know? So unfortunately, it is, it is like that. So then 
license is one thing to ask and, and then a second insurance something very tricky and very unusual we don't get many builders uh, that get the insurance even though it is available for them but again it's another cost that they have to maintain yearly and not everyone wants to do that so especially the new small builders it, it might be difficult for them to afford such a thing but believe me guys it's very important to find the right builder and if he can give you the credibility and also the backup from the insurance company it's a great goal great goal go for it beautiful nice all right our fourth point we'll talk about in my humble opinion if you're building a house i've been through this build i've built through the building process multiple times is communication and transparency um, things change while you're building. You reference six months, a year, a year and some change. It's a long time frame to be engaged with someone to work on a project. Um, transportate, uh, pardon me, transparency and communication have to be critical, especially when changes and problems come up. Yeah, it's something I'm already laughing because it's my favorite, favorite thing about the builders. You know, I think it's in general the communication sometimes here with the people on the island. They are great when everything is great and they're communicating great with you. And then once there is a small, tiny issue, they kind of disconnect. And then it's very frustrating for you because you're trying to text, you're trying to call, you're trying to email, even you're trying to go to their homes, trying to look for them. And they're not there, you know. So uh, it, on a, if it's a good builder, uh, it's still there is a risk that you might get to the situation where the communication is not going to be great, you know. Uh, also, the transparency, what he is telling you, okay, if you're not, especially if you're not there, okay, is he buying the right material? Is he doing that, what he's supposed to according to the contract? Because you have a contract with the payments, uh, with the work that needs to be done, and then uh, you have all the schedule, all the plans. But not always you there to double-checking everything. That brings us to the point that we talked about in our first show. It's very important to have someone that you can trust. Uh, to supervise the project, not necessarily from the builder part, it's always good to have it someone from from a, from from outside. You know, that it's not connected to the builder. Or as we talk, and as what you did when you were building your home, that you count on that trips to come down, and and, and when there is an important poor, you there. When there is an important decision to make, then you are there, and, and then making sure everything is done the right way. I, I give all the credit to the success of our build, Doc on Wood. Um, to my wife. She did an amazing job. Uh, we actually were fortunate it was that we did build during COVID. Um, so everybody had a little bit more time than normal. Um, but she was in high communication constantly. Um, and to your point, we did. We made about approximately 11, 12 trips down jointly um, during the process to make sure that, especially on the important things you referenced, um, to make sure that we were here, to make sure there was no you know, miscommunications, in clarity anything like that so it's definitely yeah. worth the, the attention you're going to give it yeah you're right and then you know these days it's so easy to send pictures and videos and and then make a video calls and all that but also be there present because sometimes from the pictures it's not not 100 percent clear if, if it's to, done the right way or not so i would always suggest my clients either have someone or schedule few visits through the process when the important stuff is done yeah that's brilliant brilliant Okay, last one, uh, warranty and aftercare. Um, I know when we were building, uh, we had, again, we had a great communication, a great relationship we'd forged with our builder. Um, he said, hey, I'll give you a one-year warranty, and he's, I'll make sure everything's fine. He was really good about it. Uh, we ran into a small hiccup about a year and a half in, but because we kept a good relationship, he said, hey, no problem. It's going to cost you a couple bucks because I can't fully warranty it a year and a half later, but I'll send the guys out immediately. To me, that was very successful, that communication and, and him backing up that warranty. And I'm impressed with your builder, Russ, because this is something uh, unusual here. You know, with the, already that he gave you one year, like most of the builders here, they'll go with six months. Six, six months, months okay. up to one year, but most of them tend to do like six months. I even had a builder, he was like, yeah. One month, I was like, one month, wow. <laughs> what is one month, you know, <laughs> like, you know, the, the, the construction works, it's drying out, it's, it's, uh, you're going to have some cracks that he will have to uh, re, 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 redo when, when that happens. So for sure, guys, be careful there and make sure it's in the contract. And, and also, that's a, one of the questions you should be asking around when, when you're looking for the builder, how did he do in, in this particular case, you know, how he 
was with the warranty and after care of the home if there was a little issue did he address it did he completely when disappeared or did he even try maybe okay i understand but i will need a little help from me so everything is about the communication we have to understand you know with with, with the climate changes that we have around uh issues might happen you know if you don't choose the right materials sometimes things occur uh later than a year and it's always pain in the ass to deal with it but if if you have the right communication with the builder and and then you can always make a deal don't always and especially if it's after a warranty time don't be too rough on them uh, come to them talk to them give them options uh, and that way maybe you can split the cost or he will send you the workers you buy the material you know there's always a way to deal with it instead of being too rough on them. Hey, this is a warranty this is what i want that might work in us canada and europe but believe me it, that's very hard sometimes here uh, in honduras Absolutely. I like the way you put that flexibility, you know, have communication with them. You, you, you'll find a solution. Try to be solution oriented versus pointing blame at somebody. Yes, correct. hundred percent. Awesome. Well, hey, this has been our second episode of the four part series with Mr. Merrick Venera. Uh, he is with Remax, obviously. Um, and just in summary, you know, as you were things to consider when you're choosing your builder, experience, reputation, licensing and insurance, uh, portfolio and style, communication, transparency, and of course, warranties and aftercare. Um, and again, if you have questions here, Marek is always available for your consultations. He's here to have conversations with you. And being a Remax agent, he's going to be using you know the, the, the best people out there and the best services available to you. So, Marek, thanks again very much for your time today. Yeah, remember, guys, this is a very important step. It's uh, something that you should not uh, underestimate. We are here, we're making these great shows for you just to give you an idea of what can happen. But again, there is way much behind it. We are here, we are here, happy to help you. Just come and reach us. Thank you, Russ. Thank you, everyone. See you next Beautiful. time. Perfect, Marek. Thanks. Have a great day.